Hi, hope you're doing well. I want to talk a little bit about dating today. So we talked about it on Shavuos. We um, did a class, I did a class, and I just wanted to give a little recap review for those who are there or catch you up a little bit, the short version for those who couldn't make it. I am sharing some ideas based on Rabbi Dr. Akiva Tatz. If any of you have been on a trip with us, you may have heard him. He's incredible. Lots of good life advice. So I just wanted to share a couple ideas about that. First of all, there's so much to share. Okay, I'm going to do this really quick. One is that we go through life learning so much about our job, our careers, but we don't learn so much about marriage. So first of all, I think it's just important to understand that it's okay to be learning this stuff. How would you know it otherwise? And it's it's really important to have a successful marriage. And what is the purpose of life anyways? What's the purpose of marriage? So Judaism teaches us that the purpose of life is to become your best self that you can. And through the institution of marriage, it's really an ideal environment to work on yourself when you're living with someone that you have to work things through all the time and to grow and love and um it really provides an ideal environment for that so what do we look for first i'm going to tell you what you don't look for okay so what you don't look for is someone who's exactly the same as you maybe you like all the same food the same music you have the same interests those things are not as important so what's important we're going to go through three things first of all one absolute is you should be on the same religious level, right? This falls in the category of having the same values. You should value Judaism to the same extent. Even if you're not practicing exactly the same at the moment, um, as long as you're heading in the same direction, that's the most important thing. So that's really key that like you have the same goals, the same interest in Judaism, as opposed to right, someone who's maybe not so interested and maybe you are interested or vice versa. Um, it's really helpful to match in that area. Okay, other two things. One is chemistry. Chemistry cannot be underestimated. It is so important. You cannot go into a marriage without chemistry. It's not healthy. It's not the right thing to do. I like to say if you don't have chemistry with someone, well, then it's just clarity that that's not the person you're meant to be with. How much chemistry are you looking for? So as Rabbi Tess says, you don't have to be hyperventilating from life-threatening asthma but maybe mild breathlessness, um, you know, a little bit. And chemistry can also take time. That you should, you should like the person. You should want to get to know them and want to spend time with them. And there's a certain, it's not always about looks either. There's a certain charm that as you get to know a person and their personality that you connect to, and that brings chemistry. So definitely give it a few dates. Um, I'd say three minimum, could be three to 10, and see if chemistry develops. And um, what's next? Character. Okay, so the two main things Rabbi Tath says, religious level is an absolute, then there's non-negotiables like chemistry and character. You wanna know that the other person, the person you're gonna spend the rest of your life with is kind, giving, happy, able to cope with life. And it's really important if you think about what's a marriage supposed to look like? A marriage should be the most respectful relationship you have, meaning like, it's not like you see each other all the time and so you just nag each other, bug each other. Can you do this? Can you do that? No, it should be full of love and full of caring without nagging, without criticism. So in order to do that, it's really helpful to respect the person. So you, it's ideal to know that the person that you're looking for is respecting, is a respectful person. And also, how do you supposed to know if this person is kind, giving? Give it time to get to know each other, see each other in all different circumstances to the point where if something comes up or if any sort of conversation, you would think of that person that you're dating and you would already know their reaction to it, that you know them that well, that there's no new information popping up about them. So that's when you know that you know them. And um, if there's chemistry and you know them and they're great, um, sounds like it might be a right match. So if you have any further questions, I am happy to answer. My claim to fame at the moment, since Jewish matchmaking is so popular, is that I have taken trainings with Aliza and Shalom. And yes, she is incredible and warm and bubbly, just like she comes off on the show. And um, I'm here, local resource for free. If anyone needs anything, be in touch.